everybody, I'm Hope, and as promised, I am back to show you how to fluff a tree. So let's get going. So before you start doing anything to your tree, you're going to want to test the lights. Put those together. The next set works. Yes, it works. Okay, to fluff my tree, I'm going to bring it out into the middle of the room because that's going to make it easier for me to get all around it and make sure that I do a really good job of fluffing it. First off, I want to give you a tip for fluffing the top of the tree so that you don't have to strain your back. Before you set your tree up, set the top of it in the tree stand and fluff it down on your own level. And I'll just put that into the tree stand. Now this is a great tip, not just for fluffing, but for decorating the top as well. I'm going to just wheel this out of the way for now. Okay, and for the purpose of fluffing and the video and being able to really see what's going on, I'm also going to take off the other layer. Let's bring you a little closer. First, we just wanna kind of loosen everything up. Okay, now this is a very sparse tree. It's not one of those designer sparse trees, which I'd love to have. It's just a sparse tree. So if your tree is nice and full, then you may be able to pull out your branches, something like this, and it would be fine. See, they're not straight up. However, this tree is not very full, so I am going to want to pull some up to hide the base of the tree. So you can just adjust that to what your tree is like. So again, if your tree is pretty sparse and you wanna fill it out, go ahead and pull some up in the back. That won't make a big difference. And then start to pull the other ones forward a little more like you would see on a real tree. Let's look at that again one more time. Because this tree doesn't have very much, we're going to actually pull some of them directly up and down. Otherwise, if you have a really good quality tree, I'd say that you should point them in a little bit more of a natural way. But we want to cover up this bar, so that's why we're pulling them up that way. As you come to the end, feel free to start pulling them in a more natural direction. Okay, you don't want to splay them open like fireworks. Okay, so here's the look of it. This is something natural. There's some natural curve to the branches. And they kind of come out something like this rather than, than that. Okay, we want something like this. So that branch, that has good distribution it's as good as we can do on a tree like this. Okay, you can see this one's very mashed. Just going to start out by freeing some of these up to cover the center. Maybe one down to cover the center down. And then we'll start pulling them forward, kind of in a graceful way, just pulling them forward in an arching, way where they can all breathe. The end result is something somewhat like an open hand, not like this, okay? Let me show you the difference. You don't want something like, like they're just all straight out. That just looks flat and unappealing. So you want it to be more something like an open hand that could hold something. Spread, but not spread eagle. Let's watch this one. Some of them are just bent all kinds of ways from the box. So you definitely need to fluff. Just release those. You can kind of see where the original branches, branches were supposed to go on the tree because once you start kind of loosening things up, they'll start wanting to go where they belong. Okay, do that again. 
you don't want two that are next to each other going in completely the same direction. Don't forget to gently curve the ends of the branches because that's how they would be in real life. They would not be stiff and straight. But they also wouldn't be super curly, so just a gentle curve is all we're looking for, just a gentle curve. Okay, so the first row is done. That's going to be the easiest to see. Don't overly worry about getting this step right. Everybody has a different idea of what a natural tree looks like. What you do want, I think, to make sure is that your branches are not straight, that they're spread, and di distributed. If you get that right, if your branches are not straight and they're distributed, then you're going to be pretty good. Just make sure that you do actually do this step. That's the important part. Thanks for watching. Bye.